How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video, and today, oh lord, we re we're revisiting a Red Dead Redemption 1 outfit. Requested by Trevor Brown, we are attempting to do the Baller Twins outfit online. Uh, fun fact, you can actually get pretty damn close to this one. The only things that kind of tick me off about it is uh, we don't have anything close to John's hat. That all said, the rest of the outfit kind of came together pretty nicely. And of course, there's going to be a lot of suggestions here and there and variations, so get ready for a lot of dealer's choice. Starting off with the hat. Completely dealer's choice. We don't have anything really close to John's hat. I personally went with the Western Homburg hat. I, I felt it kind of fit the look, kind of had the right shape, but ultimately, like, there, there's, there's nothing. Just, yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> No eyewear, no mask, no band. Actually, no, there is a bandana. What am I doing? I'm so used to saying that. I personally went with the trim bandana in red. It fit the part. It was nice, bright, and vibrant, which, looking at screenshots, is perfect for the match. It's glorious. I like it. No coats with this outfit. No ponchos for vests. I was so happy when they finally released the Valdez vest, which is basically their way of saying, hey, here's John's vest in multiple covers. Have fun with it. Now, as for the color it's probably supposed to be, honestly, black looks the closest. But have fun with this. I mean, it comes in so many different colors that you can kind of make your own version of the outfit. Still be pretty true to it, but have your own personal spin on it, you know? It's really nice. I like it. Move on the shirts. You can completely do this choice. Whatever you feel like John was wearing in Red Dead Redemption 1, hey, go for it. I went with the everyday shirt, personally. I just, I needed something kind of dirty to go with the rest of the look. I believe he was wearing uh, the Casimir shirt. I honestly don't remember. But dealer's choice. Just as long as you roll the sleeves up, you sell the part. Suspenders, we're not going to see them, doesn't matter. No gauntlets for gloves. You want the range gloves in black. I believe that's about as close as we can get to John's gloves. But I don't have those in black and I'm kind of blowing all my money on these videos anyway. So I went with the leather gloves in black. Honestly, both kind of look the part, in my opinion. Belts, buckles, weapon equipment, completely dearless choice. It's all for flavor anyway. We don't have anything close to John's usual get up. Well, actually, the horsemanship belt isn't bad. Moving on to pants. Really anything in a dark navy blue or really anything that can just pass for blue jeans. Simple as that. I went with the bandito. That was me, though. On to the thing that's going to matter, though. Batwing chaps in this kind of faded black. It's not pure black, it has some tinges of brown here and there. Faded black felt like it, it kind of sold the part. There's also this dark kind of maroon version. Eh, it could kind of work. But have fun with it either way. Boots. What else are we going to do but worn Roper boots? I mean, it, it's John from Red Dead Redemption 1. That's all he wore was worn Roper boots until he swapped to something finer. And spurs, eh, mostly dealer's choice. Honestly, the Gurdon Copper Spurs probably be your best bet, or just the Gurdon Spurs period, but I don't know, I like the Vaquero. Baroque Spurs. I just really wanted Roundhouse Kick somebody wearing those. I don't know why that image always comes to my mind. That all said, that's it. That's the outfit. You know, for online, I gotta say, this is pretty damn close. Single player, you could probably nail it a little bit better just because you have access to John's actual hat and his actual wardrobe. Because honestly, the only difference about this and the Baller Twins outfit is... The bandana around his neck, the chaps... And that's about it, actually. Of course, in the screenshot I'm wearing, there's a bandolier, but we don't have access to those yet in the online. Though I do hope they release them eventually. God only knows when the hell that's gonna be. Anyway. As usual, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing around with your friends. And just a little added bonus, checking down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own request down in the comments. <sighs> I'm going to go rest my voice now. I've been talking all day. Once again, though, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.